Do you miss using the Check Me Out channel or the Everybody Votes channel on your Wii? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get all of these working once again by installing ReConnect24, a fan-made revival of the defunct Wii Connect 24 service by Nintendo. Just to be clear, I'm not responsible for anything that were to happen in case you do something wrong. However, if you do follow the tutorial correctly and carefully, you should have no issues. Anyways, I'm Anton, and let's get started. So what we'll need to get started is a computer, and a soft modded original Wii system. So this guide is not meant for VWii on Wii U or the Wii Mini. All regions are compatible with this tutorial, but I'm going to be using a USA Wii running 4.3, which is pretty much expected for all Wiis that are soft modded. An internet connection is also required for this tutorial, so make sure that you have everything set up. And you'll also need an SD card or a USB stick. So as long as the Homebrew channel is able to recognize your device, you should be good. Now if your system isn't soft modded, or you want to get the internet connection enabled, you can check out the video on screen now, or even check the description. So now that we have everything set up, what we're going to do is go down in the description, and there will be a link to the ReConnect24 guide on Wii.Guide. This is a written guide, so if you would like to read it and follow along with it, feel free. Additionally, it even has information on installing for VWii on Wii U and even Dolphin. So what we're going to do is click on Reconnect 24 Patcher, and this will take you to a GitHub page. Scroll down just a bit and select the program for your system. So BAT if you are using a PC, or UNIX if you are on Mac or Linux. So click on the file to download it, and once it's finished, click on it to launch the program. This program is safe, but if Windows gives you any issues, just allow it to run. Now what we're going to do is type in 1 and press enter. It will then check for updates. Next, select the system. For this tutorial though, I'll be selecting one for Wii, but if you are reading any of the other guides, you can then select two or three. Now here are a bunch of options, but all we're going to do is type in one to begin the setup. Now type in one to select the express pack, which will patch all of the channels. Now select your region, and make sure you select the correct one. I'm going to type in two to select the USA. Next, you can install any of the following channels if you don't have them. I do recommend just skipping We Speak, as there is a way to patch that channel using Wimify instead, which I may create a video on in the future. And the Today and Tomorrow channel is actually a European channel, and you can get it to run on a North American Wii, but I'll make a video on how to do that, so I'd recommend just skipping that as well. So just type in 5 to continue. If you have an SD card connected to your computer, press 1 for connected, or 2 if you either don't have an SD card, or using a USB, or you just don't have an SD card slot on your computer. I'm just going to be typing in 2. Next, type in 1 to start the patching of the channels. This should take around a minute. Once everything has been patched, you can then type in 2 to close the program. Now, if you typed in 2, you should see the file on your computer's downloads folder, but if you didn't, then you should see it in your SD card. And this WAD folder should contain all of the patched files. These are all the files here, and just make sure they are all in the correct region. There should also be another folder containing some apps, which are going to help us install the WAD files. So, the first is Wii Mod Lite, but if you'd always like to use another Wii Manager, like I'm going to be using Multimod Manager, that is totally fine. And the second is Mail Patcher, which will be able to help us patch the mail. So if you picked option 2, just drag the WAD and apps folder into your drive, and then merge them, or if you happen to have these folders created already. So what I'm going to do is eject my SD card and insert it in my Wii system. And then we're going to power it on. And now let's head into the homebrew channel. Now that we are here, launch either Wii Mod Lite or the Multi Mod Manager, or any other WAD manager that you have. Once the application is open, select WAD Manager. Here we'll install the WADs. Now I recommend just going through each and installing them, just because you may have an error, as if you do a batch one, it may be hard to track what's going on. You also need to install iOS 31 and 80, which are necessary to make sure that everything works. And of course, if you do get an error, it's either you don't have enough space, or you'll need to install it again. Once everything is successfully installed, exit the application by pressing the home button. So now you should just be at the homebrew channel. So just go ahead and press the home button once again, and exit to the Wii menu. And if everything went correctly, you should see all of the channels installed. So next what we're going to do is set up the mail patch to use Reconnect24. So once again, head to the homebrew channel, and go to the application called Reconnect24 Mail Patcher, and press load. This application will patch the Wii's mail within a few seconds, and once it's finished, press the home button to exit. And just like that, the Wii mail patcher is all set up. And now you should be able to receive mail from Reconnect24. Next, we are going to be setting our DNS to the Reconnect24 servers. 
This is optional, but recommended, and will improve the use of Reconnect24 and Wimify. So go to Wii Options, Wii Settings, head to Page 2, press Internet. Go to the Connection Settings and select your current connection, go to Change Settings, and then go to Auto Obtain DNS. Select No, then Advanced Settings. Type in 164.132.44.106 as the primary DNS, and then type in 1.1.1.1 as the secondary DNS. Select Confirm and then press Save. Select OK to perform a connection test, and then if the connection test was successful, press No to skip the Wii menu update. And if you do press it by accident, don't worry, as it should state that there is no update available if you are in version 4.3. Next, go to Wii Connect 24, then Wii Connect 24 once again, and make sure it is enabled. Finally, go to the Internet section, and then go to User Agreements slash Contacts, or User Agreements depending if you are Europe or US, and then press Yes. Press next to continue, and then you should see the Reconnect24 logo. You can then read through the agreement if you'd like, but all you need to do is just press I accept. Then press OK to return to the Wii menu. Now if you don't see the agreement with the Reconnect24 logo, then that means that you inputted the incorrect DNS, or the DNS just won't work and you'll have to enable the auto DNS instead. So if it doesn't work, it's not a big issue because this is optional. And congratulations, Reconnect24 is fully installed on your Wii. And now we can take a look at all the channels. So let's start with the Nintendo channel. This channel was used by Nintendo to showcase upcoming games and products. However, the channel is no longer connected to Nintendo servers, so it's pretty much empty. But hopefully Reconnect24 uses it for something else, such as maybe the ability to showcase brand new upcoming games for the Nintendo Switch. Next, we have the Check Me Out channel. This is a channel in which you can create memes and then share them with the community and enlist them in popularity contests. And then of course you can vote on your favorites. It's such a fun and unique concept that hasn't been utilized since. Hopefully it can make a return in a future me game. Next, we have the Everybody Votes channel. In this channel, you can vote on certain prompts and even predict the outcome. And just like the Check Me Out channel, the prompts are curated by Reconnect24, so you'll see new content that hasn't been used in the Everybody Votes channel before. Next, we have the News and Forecast channels, and these work very well, and it's cool to see them displaying recent news and the correct weather. And also, since we did patch the Wii Mail, the service works and you can send messages once again, and this includes the ability to send images and videos from certain games that support the feature. But if you have everything set up, feel free to add me. I want to say a big thank you to the team behind Reconnect24 for keeping the Wii's legacy alive all these years later, and I'm excited to see where the service grows from here. I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see future videos just like this one. Leave a like if you found it helpful, or leave a comment. Are there any tutorials you'd like to see? And of course, if you do have any issues, you can also find the Reconnect24 Discord server in the description, as well as the Anton Retro one. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.